Okay, this is the program for Lab 3B. And what this does is every time we hit the right push button, which drops the value here to zero, it's going to change the state of our red lead. Initially, the red lead was set to one, which means it's off. And it's going to come around here. And as long as we don't push the push button, it's going to not go in there if when it does go in the if because we push the push button, then it's going to change the state to the opposite state. It was off. First time we push it, it's going to be on. Then it's going to come back here again. And the next time we push the push button, it's going to change state again. But we've got this interesting statement in here. While right underscore push button exclusive word with one equals one semicolon. This is not like any while statement we've seen before. But this is waiting for this particular device to actually change state because as long as you press the button, and here's the way it works, microcontrollers will execute code in a fraction of a millionth of a second. And uh, it takes us, on average, one-tenth of a second to actually react, which means get your finger off a push button, flip a switch, whatever it takes, at least 0.1 seconds, which is 100,000 microseconds. So if you see here, basically, when you press the push button, it's still going to be pressed when it hits this statement here. And this right push button is going to be zero, zero exclusive word with one. It's going to give you one. So this is like a while one statement, as long as your finger is still pushing the push button. And it's going to be pushing the push button for probably a million times of this executing this while statement. So let's keep checking, keep checking until you release your finger from the push button, then it's going to give you a different result. So in this case, when it's pushed, you get one. So this is like a while one statement. So it's not going to go past here. But as soon as you release the push button in 100,000 microseconds, what's going to happen is this is now going to be a one. A one exclusive word with one is no longer one. It's going to give you a logic value here of zero. So this becomes like while zero and it drops out. So only when you release the push button is it going to go back into the for loop. And when it goes back into the for loop, then it's going to hit this if statement. And if you don't push it again, and you won't be able to push again for at least another 100,000 microseconds. So it's going to keep bypassing this until you press it again. And this is going to make sure that there's no timing involved here. It's when you release the push button, it's going to then go back and look for another push button press. So you don't have to worry about timing. This will do it when you release it. Now this is sort of like a landmine. As long as you're standing on the landmine, you're okay. And as soon as you release it, it's going to go on and do other things like kaboom. So that's why this statement is so important here for checking the state of the push button to see when you've released it and only then will it go back into the loop.